in this video i will be showing you how to set up your imos mo22 4g lte mifi on the blue network we begin by establishing a connection between your mifi and your desktop preferably because of the larger interface so ensure your mifi is powered on and then under your wi-fi connection search for the device name the default device name is imos mifi underscore e8c6 so we make an attempt to connect it will ask us to impute the password now the password is going to be when you leave the back cover of the imos mifi you pull out the battery then behind you are going to see the mifi password or what's called the wi-fi key so in my case it's just a series of numbers eight digit numbers so i'm going to impute that here in this field and then select next so we are connected now you can see the network bar displays internet access so from here we'll go to the device management website and type in our browser one dot one and hit enter it's going to take us to the device management websites here we'll be required to log in our default login details are admin for username admin for password now we'll be showing you how to change this once i sign in it's going to give me a prompt to do so password strength is low to avoid login security issues please change your password i can do that later or modify now but i'll choose to modify that now so i'll be required to delete the former default password which is admin and pick a password of my choice and the password that satisfies this user information should be minimum of eight digits and should contain alphanumeric properties otherwise it's going to come back with the same error that we saw when we logged in so i'm going to be selecting my password and then click ok approved so i'll be logging in again with the new password i selected So I'm logged in and the front dashboard just displays a few properties of the device. We have the name in this Wi-Fi connection section. If I turn this toggle off, it's going to disconnect the Wi-Fi connection. So we can also disconnect the Wi-Fi connection from this page. Then below just some other data properties. Now we'll just explore some sections of this page that are important to us. Now under home network, we can go to connected devices and see the devices that are connected to our hotspots. In my case, I just have one device connected. The name appears here, status green, and other device properties. Under device traffic, we have more functionalities here. Here you can block the user or stop their connection. So this is for control of those that are having access to your MiFi. From here we go on to wireless now under wireless settings we go to wireless security settings now here we can change our device name from the default and also change the password that we use to hotspot with other devices once we change this to this connection will go up go off to effect the change so let's test that Now this security mode, what that represents is if I select none, that means that my Wi-Fi connection will be open. I would not need to repeat a password if I want to share my Wi-Fi from my MiFi to any device. But I'm not selecting that because it's not secure. So having changed the device name and the password, I'll click save. Now watch out for this internet connection, it's going to go off shortly.
So it's off now because the change I made has been applied. I will now be required to reconnect to be able to access this dashboard again. So I'm going to make an attempt to reconnect. Now for my PC, I'll have to refresh this connection kind of. So I'll have to go to my settings, network and connections because it remembers the future of the former device. So I'll need to ask my device to forget that connection and start the process again. So I'll connect. I can do that here. I can also do that in this section. So I will impute the new password I choose. So we are connected. So let's relaunch this page. I log out. And then I sign in again. So we're back in. Now one more section that we need to explore. In the router section, here we can restore to factory settings. What that means is that the default password we use to log into this device management website, which is admin admin, we can restore it to that password and username again, and also restore the name of our device from test device to what it originally was and the password as well. There are two ways we can do this. We can do this on this dashboard by clicking this restore field under this restore factory settings. Secondly, we can also go to our MyFi and find the reset button on the MyFi and press it down with a pointed object for five seconds and that automatically resets it. Now the reset button is at the edge of the IMOS MyFi just on the section where you have the port for plugging in your charger or your USB cable. It's just a very small black section there where you can reset. So, but in this case, we're going to reset from the dashboard. So once I click restore, watch out for my connection again. It's going to go off once it applies. Connection no longer available. So we have to restart the process. Now this name is not what this device is anymore. It has come back to the default name. So let's make an attempt to connect. And we're going to connect with the default password that is at the back of the device. So let's test our admin admin username and password. So that worked. It's asked me to modify, but I'm not modifying that now. I will change that later and we are back into this device management website. But this is just how you can manage your IMOS MO22 4G LT setup once you acquire it. Thank you for watching.